Hi, I'm Steve, the owner of Avira Linens. Now, in today's video, we're going to identify some reasons that you might consider utilizing a mattress pad, as well as uh, some things you might want to look for when purchasing your next one. Okay, so we've got four reasons that you uh, want to use mattress pad. First of all, uh, mattresses are very, very expensive. And the reality is they do come into contact with stuff. And even if they don't come into contact you know, with stuff in your bed, just uh, body oil uh, you know, from your skin will leach through your sheets and soil that mattresses. And mattresses are very challenging to clean. Now, many manufacturers of mattresses use very durable synthetic fabrics. Oftentimes, you know, there's a pattern that is woven into that, uh, uh, you know, that fabric itself, the, the top and bottom surface of the mattress. And I don't care how soft your sheets are, if you don't have a pad between the mattress and your sheets, you are going to feel the roughness of that fabric. Many mattresses are also tufted. And this tufting um, uh, creates kind of a bumpy or a contorted surface in a nice thick mattress pad is going to level that out and make that top surface smoother. Last reason uh, is, for some reason, uh, mattress makers, many mattress makers are making their mattresses black. And I've even seen some purple ones on the market. And if you're using a white or an ivory sheet, which most people utilize, you know, white and then second ivory, you're going to see a bleed through of color from that mattress. Now, when it comes to things you might want to look for in your next pad. I mean, they, mattress pads do wear out. So um, if you're going to be replacing yours, uh, there's a couple different choices. First of all, probably the least expensive, probably the least utilized is just a felt pad. Very inexpensive, but uh, they're very, very thin and they don't absorb a lot. So if there's some kind of liquid that they're, uh, you know, come in contact with, they're not going to absorb, you know, a lot of that liquid. In addition, because they're not secured in any way, they have a tendency of shifting or moving around on top of that mattress. Another style that we see are like a felt pad or maybe even a thin quilted mattress pad that has corner straps. Now, the problem, again, with these corner straps is they don't provide enough, uh, you know, tie down or, you know, they don't secure that pad well enough to the mattress to prevent it from slipping. The fourth uh, one that we see that's become very popular are these foam toppers. Now, these foam toppers are certainly nice and soft, or most of them are nice and soft. However, they're synthetic. And because they're synthetic, they don't breathe particularly well. In addition to that, you can't get them into your wash machine to clean them. Now, the fourth style, and this is the, the one that we sell at Vero, uh, it's a quilted uh, pad. And it's got the uh, a fully elasticized skirt, so uh, it's you know it re it's retained. It you know encompasses or encompasses or encapsulates poof, the entire mattress, and it's uh, not going to be as prone to slipping or moving around. In addition, very easily washed. They're reasonably inexpensive, and we recommend this style you know to protect your mattress. Now, if by chance you have a real thick mattress, you're going to want to look for a deep pocket skirt. You're going to want to ensure, you know, that the skirt fully encapsulates the sides of that mattress and it's going to hold it secure. It's not going to slip up in the, you know, slip off in the corners, et cetera. And, uh, again, just something to consider if you've got a thick mattress. Hey, as always, if you have any questions regarding uh, mattress pads or, you know, general bedding questions, we do encourage you to, uh, um, send us an email or give us a call. We're happy to assist. Hey, thanks for taking a moment to watch this video. 